everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and I wanted to talk to you about are you a beginner in your stockpiling? Have you even started a stockpile? Are you fairly new to it? Have you never done it but always wanted to do it, don't know where to start? I just wanted to encourage you that it is a good thing. It is, I would say, necessary if you can do it but not everyone can afford to do it. Not everyone can afford it financially. Not everyone can afford the space. And not everybody has the patience and the stamina to do it. So I understand that because I've been in all those categories. But I wanted to encourage you that if you can start it and you want to start it or you're overwhelmed with, you know, maybe feeling like I, I, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to begin, this video maybe would help you out just a tad. So many of the videos you're going to see out there are people that are panicking, telling you that there's no food in the entire world, the whole place has gone to pot, and um, I'm actually getting sick and tired of those videos. What I do wanna do is encourage you to know that the whole purpose of a stockpile, at least for me, was when I didn't have food because of a stupid mistake I made on my own part and I wasn't budgeting correctly, I wasn't preparing meals correctly or menu planning or anything like that. Long story short, I messed up. But then I learned at that point always to have a few cans of something on hand. I started with soup. To me, soup is versatile. You can eat it as soup. You can make it into another meal if you want to. It's a good place to start. It has a lot of vegetables and meats, pastas and rices and gravies and all of that in one can. So one can of soup can really sustain you. And I'm gonna have another video on how to do that and what some ideas are of things that I've used over the years and help you stretch a can of soup. The other thing I wanna encourage you to realize that don't just assume you have to go to either the big box stores or your local grocery stores. There are alternative places that you can shop. You can shop at Walgreens and CVS. You can shop at places like that. There are other little places that probably are in your own local area that if you looked around, you'd realize, oh, there's some other places I can go and get some good buys. Places like, um, Ollie's and Big Lots, things like that also have some great, great ideas and great buys. If you do hear somebody snoring in the background, it is not my husband. It is our puppy. We took him to the groomers today and I think we've worn him out and he is having a snooze fest over here in the corner. So I wanted to go to Dollar General. I actually needed to get some half and half for my coffee and their freezers and their um, refrigeration on the one whole side, they've lost power on the one whole side. So they didn't have anything that I needed in that way. But then I thought, well, let me look around. I wanna see, there's a few other things that I needed that I didn't feel like rushing to the grocery store for. So I got one or two practical things, but then as I was looking around, I realized I saw some things from my stockpile. So. As a YouTuber, when you go someplace, at least for me, I'm not only looking for myself, but I am looking for you guys as well, because you wanna know, you wanna be in the know, as they say. You wanna know what's out there, you're looking for advice, you're looking for tips. I'm not only a YouTube creator, but I watch other people's videos. I want advice, I want ideas, but I want, what I want is positive feedback. I don't want somebody coming down and telling me almost scolding me that this is what I need to be doing. I'm encouraging you, if you haven't started your stockpile, here's some good ideas. And if you have started it, here's some good ideas. And maybe you're a pro at it, you can still learn from somebody else. So I'm gonna show you some basic things from Dollar General. Yes, Dollar General. Dollar General to me is a great place to start if you need to start your stockpile. If you're overwhelmed with space, with money, and with time, most towns have a Dollar General. And in that Dollar General, general, you're gonna be able to find some things on the cheap and frugal. And you can also get some storage bins if you need them there. 
to put your stockpile items in it if you need to store it under your bed or in a closet if you don't have a cabinet or something. There are grocery stores probably in your town and maybe a Walmart. For me, the grocery store in our town is way too expensive and the cheapest grocery store is 20 minutes, 25 minutes away. Same with a Walmart or anything like that. So sometimes you just can't get to these places. But if you want to start a stockpile and keep it on a budget, let me give you a few ideas of some of the things that I found that I will actually use in my own stockpile, but I primarily purchase them to show you some items and then it helps my stockpile as well. So here's one of the things that I picked up and I haven't bought this in years and this is by Kraft. Kraft makes macaroni and cheese, but did you know they also make spaghetti boxes? So in this is spaghetti and you get your sauce and you even get your cheese. This was 90 cents. Now this serves, this is a serving of four. So it's a little less than uh, maybe 22 cents a person for a meal for dinner. Now this is not going to make a ton of food. If you're a family of one, you might find that, you know what, if you want a good hearty meal, you're probably gonna get one to two meals out of this. But if you had to stretch it over a family of four, or four servings, even if you're a family of one and you had to stretch it over four servings, you could do that. You could bulk this up by adding a can of vegetables to it or some fruit or whatever you wanted to do. But you get your sauce, you get your uh, pasta, and you also get the cheese. Now they tell you to add a can of tomato paste to this. You can just add, if you have some regular tomato sauce, I at one point didn't have anything but ketchup and I used ketchup and I added a little water and you would never have known the difference. So just know that you don't have to follow the directions exactly. But this was 90 cents a box. I thought that was a great deal so I picked up two of those. Then my son loves rice a -roni. Now you can make homemade rice a -roni. I know that, I'm sure somebody's gonna say, well, why don't you make homemade? Well, it's a dollar a box. It's pre-made for me. The packet is in there, the rice and the pasta, everything that goes into rice aroni. To me, on an evening when I come home from work, this is just as easy and convenient for me. And yes, yeah, sometimes I buy the convenience because I need the convenience. Sometimes my time is more valuable than me making things homemade and from scratch. And for some of you, you're just not into making things from scratch and homemade. It's just not your thing. I know people that for them homemade is just something their grandmother did and they just either never had the training to do it. It's just not their thing. Not everybody is designed to do everything and making things from scratch and homemade is not for everyone. So this rice aroni box was $1. Now, as you saw in the, in the beginning, I had some pictures. Dollar General, ever since, at least in my area, that the Dollar Trees went up to $1.25, have really stepped up their game and they have a lot of items for a dollar now. I told my mom that and she went in the Dollar General about two weeks ago and they have a whole aisle of just dollar items. Now, as I walked around the store today, they had big stickers, as you can see in the beginning of the video, I took snapshots for you, and you can see a dollar listed on quite a few items. So they're really stepping up their game. And I will tell you, I had gone to Dollar Tree first and gotten one or two items thinking it was a better deal than Walmart or ShopRite, and I picked them up for my stockpile to find out, I then went to Dollar General and it was only a dollar at Dollar General. So I could have saved a quarter more. Probably in some cases, the dollar that I paid there would have saved me a quarter from Dollar Tree, but another probably 50 cents to 75 cents going to a local grocery store or, or Walmart. So don't discount discount stores like Dollar General for starting your stockpile, refreshing your stockpile, or you know, just getting a few things here or there. Always keep in mind when you go to places like this, look for buys like this, because re replenishing your stockpile is a good thing, even when you say, well, I'm pretty well full. But if you see one or two buys, price of th prices of things have gone up. Some things have, I've noticed prices in Walmart, were a little bit lower 
not two weeks ago when I was there that I had paid a while ago. My local store, we bought bacon maybe two months ago. We didn't buy it. We looked at it. It was $8 for a package of bacon. I'm not paying that. I noticed it went down to $5.99. So two weeks ago when I got it, it was on sale for $4.99. And I was like, wow, that's great. This week, it's $1.99 for a package of bacon. So you definitely have to know your prices and look around. But with that being said, not everybody has the time to shop all these different stores. I get it. I have a Dollar General, I can walk to it. It's about a half a mile from my house. So if my car broke down or I didn't have money for gas or I don't have time or whatever the case might be, I know half a mile away I can go and get things like this and this for the stockpile or for a quick dinner. One other thing that I haven't seen for a while is this can of roast beef. Now I had bought this and I had bought two cans of this and they were on a recall so I brought them back and I got my money back but they are now back in stock and this is a great can of roast beef. You see it there with mashed potatoes. This is something that it was $3.25 for the can. And somebody might say that's really expensive. So this is a can of fully cooked roast beef with gravy, heat and serve, and it is 12 ounces. If you were to buy a roast beef, you're not paying $3 for a roast beef. Not right now, not in this day and age. Sometimes you just feel like roast beef. A nice roast beef sandwich, an open face sandwich, roast beef with some mashed potatoes and a vegetable, whatever the case might be, making soup out of it, making stew out of it. You can do all kinds of stuff, casseroles. So for $3.25, especially like me, if you are a small family of one, two, three, or four people, this might be just enough to give you that taste of that roast beef you want without having to buy that big roast. So that's an idea there. Corned beef hash. That is something my husband and I have always enjoyed. We love corned beef hash for breakfast with some toast. You can throw an egg with it. You can do anything you want with this. There's all kinds of things that you can do with this. So this has been hard to find. So I grabbed two cans of those for my own stockpile. A couple of other things I picked up were these uh, wild blueberry muffins. This was on a whim. I happened to spot those and Again, you can make blueberry muffins from scratch. I'm gonna have people say, oh, it's so much cheaper. It was $2.25 for the box. If you were to buy four large muffins at my local grocery store, where you can go to the bakery, it's $5.99 for four muffins. So this is $2.25, and this will make me, I don't know how many muffins, let's see. Oh, does it tell us? I don't know. Regular amount would be 15 to 20 muffins. So I could probably get maybe six to eight jumbo muffins out of this. It's still a lot cheaper than buying them pre-made in the local bakery. If I made them from scratch, okay, that's great. But have you seen the cost of blueberries and berries lately? They're not cheap. Berries in my area to get a thing of blueberries, a small container is like $5. And so then I'd have to add the butter, the oil, the flour, the sugar, and everything else that goes into it. So for $2.25, this can go on my shelf for those mornings when I need a quick and easy breakfast. I can make pancakes out of this. I can make a cobbler out of this. I can do all kinds of things for $2.25. To me, that is well worth it. So I wanna show you two other things. This is flour. This was $1.85. I used to pay $1.15 at Dollar General. And that was probably two years ago when it's when I started shopping at Dollar General on the regular. It was a dollar fifteen. This was a dollar eighty-five. Now it does fluctuate. I get that. To me, it it was a convenience. I needed flour. I wanted to use my bread machine. I needed some extra flour, so I picked it up. It might be a few pennies cheaper at Walmart. It might be a few pennies cheaper at the local grocery store. But for the few pennies, it's not worth the drive. For what a tank of gas costs these days, it was cheaper just to go there. For instance, I want to show you something about homemade. Now, I'm not knocking homemade. Homemade from scratch, a lot of times, is much cheaper. But they had a recipe on the back here for homemade pound cake, which is my favorite cake. Four cups of sugar, which is about half this bag. So you're looking at about a dollar. 
Then it needs a pound of butter. Well, if you know what pound, a pound of butter, that could cost you upwards to $4 for a pound of butter, unless you got a really good deal. Now we're talking $5. Then you need three and a half cups of sugar. So let's add another dollar to that. So now you're up to $5. You need your salt, your vanilla, and your milk. So let's just say, let's just, for the sake of argument, say another dollar. Now that's $6. Uh, then you need 10 eggs. So that's almost a dozen eggs. And if eggs, at least at my local grocery store, are $3.75. Now, unless you go to the Dollar Tree and get your eggs for $1.25 or you get a great deal at Aldi, you're looking at to make a homemade pound cake with all those ingredients, anywhere from $8 to $10 for a loaf of pound cake. If you didn't get any really great deals on sale and you just got stuff at normal price, you could go to Dollar Tree for $1.25 and get a box of pound cake mix. You can go to Dollar General and get a $2 box of pound cake mix. Is it from scratch? It's semi-homemade. You made it, you got it out of a box, you add a few things to it. But sometimes making homemade, you you know, everybody is quick to say, make it from scratch. It's not always the cheapest. Granted, you know what goes in it, you've done it, I understand that. It's not always the cheapest and I don't always have the time to do everything from scratch. This is something you can whip together. I don't have to have fresh blueberries. I don't have to have certain things. Just a few ideas. The other thing I wanted to show you, if you are a beginner stockpiler and you're saying, I just can't do it, 90 cents. Most people can afford 90 cents. Most people can afford a dollar. I understand sometimes a dollar is a lot of money. Start saving your pennies, do whatever you have to do. Grab that pocket change at the end of every day. Put it in a jar, hopefully at the end of the week, you have one to two dollars that you can use to start a stockpile. They have vegetables at, and I had that on the picture in the beginning, at the Dollar General, 70 cents a can. Dollar Tree is now $1.25, so that really is not a good deal and the cheapest. On a regular price of vegetables at Dollar General, it's 70 cents a can. You can probably at Walmart or a shop rate when they go on sale, get them anywhere between 50 and 56 cents a can. So under a dollar, you can start your stockpile. If you're a beginner, you're new, you're a newbie, you're you know wanting to do this and you're just kind of stuck, how do I do this? How do I get started? You start by one item at a time. Vegetables, a can of soup, a can of hash, a can of roast beef a box of this, whatever suits your fancy and whatever you can afford to get as a beginning item. I do have a video up and coming of my five favorite things that I would recommend to any beginner to stockpile. That'll be coming up in a few days. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just a few ideas, especially if you're a beginner at this, but if you're not a beginner, don't forget that there are other places other than the big box stores, other than your local grocery stores that have things at a really good price that are great for the stockpile. Thanks so much for coming over and we'll catch you all on the next video.